Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Asim. I'm working as DevOps engineer. Guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can uh, use the layer 7 load balancer in GKE. So, guys, what I have done, I've created a repository for you guys. And this is a simple application we are going to use. And what we are going to do, we are going to use the self sign certificates and we are going to use Cloudflare. In this particular Cloudflare, what we are going to do, we are going to do the masking. And uh, by doing this, we are able to get the full TLS like um, on our application and we don't have to renew um, you know, our search. So let's begin. What uh, we are going to do, guys, uh, we are going to simply clone this repo and let me do that. So, and one thing I need to tell you that I've already spin up my five mode uh, GK cluster and, uh, you know, um, added, uh, you know, this lens in the container as well. So we will see our application. So if I navigate to this or then I, I'm going to use the default namespace. So I've done the testing in past. So let me clone this. So, so what I've uh, done, guys, um, I've taken shell into my uh, box and what uh, I'm going to do, I'm going to simply clone this repo and we need to do exactly the same, right? Let's do that. Okay. So let me navigate it in this and I'm going to show you what steps you need to do. Uh, so step number one uh, is that, uh, let me show you from here. So if you navigate to the search directory, right? So if I do LS here, you see the TLS shell script. So what it's gonna do is gonna create this TLS directory. I'm going to rerun that and I'm going to show you that. So uh, let me get rid of this first of all. So if I show you, this is the search directory and th in this we have this TLS dot shell, right? So this is my domain and I'm going to use this subdomain. So uh, I'm going to sign this, uh, sign these self certificates for about uh, 100 years, right? And I told you that uh, our plan is to use the fully managed, uh, you know, TLS on our uh, on our application, right? So by the timing, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of this uh, TLS. But before that, I'm going to show you what it does. It is going to uh, create all this. Uh, specific search right and we are going to use those search to get our application fully secure and use the layer 7 load balancer in the gke for that we need annotation and we will cover that shortly right so if i do get rid of this tls directory right and we are only left with this tls so let me create this and uh, you need to fill um the you know information according to your domain so simply run it and it is going to create this particular directory and you will see the search uh, with the certificate authority we need right so now what we are going to do uh if i navigate back uh, i've added all the steps as well which we have already just, uh, discussed right so we need we have done this part and then what we're going to do, we are going to create uh, secrets. So uh, let me show you this part as well. So if I do K get secrets uh, in namespace the default, right, um, in the default namespace. So currently we have uh, these secrets, right? So let me show you that. So, right. And uh, I also want to show you from this, uh, you know, default directory and if i navigate to this config secrets so we have left this one anyway so what we are going to do we need to simply copy this particular command so this mind what it does it is going to create a secret um tls right and uh, use this as a clan dash com dash tls right and dash dash cert is going to be this uh, dot com cert file and dash dash key is going to be saklanumstack dot com and dot key which we have created through the batch script and uh, as you run it you need to simply uh, update the information according to your domain and we are going to create in the default namespace so simply what i'm going to do i'm going to copy this particular command uh, you need to do exactly the same even second one is also copy or copy from this as well. 
So I'm going to run this public command and um, get the secrets again. So you see a few seconds ago, Saklan Mushtaq dash com dash TLS secret has been created. You can use the kubectl CLI to uh, view that, or if you're using kind, you can um, do that particular stuff, right? So, okay, if I scroll up in the secrets, you see a few seconds ago, this has been created. And if you guess what we are going to do, we are going to now uh, install our application and regarding that particular application. So let me show you this part as well. So I'm going to move back to previous directories. Now where our application is living, right? So this is our hello app and I'm going to show you um, the values.yml as well. Okay, so let me close this part and now we are um, in this part where we need to have an um, layer seven um, ingress, right? So let's do that. So if you see uh, this values.yml, so we are going to uh, provision three, uh, uh, three replicas of our application. And this is the image from the public repository, right? And, and uh, if you see, this is the tag we are using. And uh, then if you scroll it down, right, you will see these are the annotation. I've uh, added uh, the stuff that uh these needs to be specified for instance in ingress class is going to be um, um is going to be gce and uh, kubernetes in this allow it to be true and external load balancer uh, balancer is going to be provision so our domain name is app.seclanmstack.com so host is going to be this so simply what you need to do cd into this for understanding and learning and simply copy this particular particular command and simply run this right so uh, we will see shortly that our application is going to be uh, deployed right and regarding that <coughs> excuse me tls secret name is is <coughs> exactly the same which we have created through our um, you know um, bash script um, we are using the one which is actually living in the default namespace right so let us uh, uh, let it uh, install it. it is a simple uh, you know application so if i navigate back to uh, this <coughs> or did you see our hello application has been deployed right so some of the commands i've already added so if i navigate back to this section so what you can do uh, if you do QCT, you'll get ingress in the default namespace you see um shortly that one address is going to be available right and all right so let's do this we are going to describe and uh, you will shortly see that uh, one load balancer in the uh, gk is, go is going to be available shortly so you have to wait for a while uh, till the load balancer is actually provisioning you see and it is currently in syncing process you have to be a little patient regarding that okay and okay rest of the stuff you don't need to do anything because um, this is the additional stuff which i might be covering in the later on videos uh, is regarding the you know um, you can say the GCP NACL just like in AWS we have NACL so uh, it is actually um, you know something like uh, you can say cloud armor GCP policies and GCP cloud armor which we are actually not uh, covering this uh, video right so uh, as I discussed we need to wait for a while and see the ingresses and if we if you do keep you to get as we see as we see our app is ready and we have to be a little patient here because it will take some time and uh, by describing the ingress you will see that now we have an ip and uh, the ip is now 
uh, 177.45 so what we need to do is to simply copy this guy and i already done entry but definitely previously i've uh, tested with the you know different one and the load balancer uh, provision and it was different i mean now we have uh, provision of new stuff and if i scroll uh, i mean if i put the application app.cyclinebushtag. in the browser uh, it will not straight away give you and the tls and you need to wait for a while again that's why i have not paused the video to make sure you just be patient regarding that but definitely it is going to be the layer 7 load balancer and from the ui if i navigate to uh, this section and let me open in another tab and if i go navigate back to this section uh, load balancer you will see the load balancer is going to be uh, and i'm going to say that uh, you will see that we don't have to even you know worried about uh, the tls stuff so let it open right and and i'm going to and i'm going to type load balancer here right so In the load balancing section, you will see that uh, IP is going to be available. And you see, uh, this is the HTTPS, which is the load balancer, uh, layer seven load balancer. It has spin up, right? You see external, and it is the type application load balancer, right? So uh, if I, I mean, click this guy, you will uh, see the same IP, right? And you see this is the same ip which we have added and if i uh try to log into i mean see app let me get this type here I have taught Cyclone Mustak as I discussed. We need to wait for a while and be patient. So it will definitely uh, going to be available uh, soon. And currently, you see, it is saying the host error because uh, it is currently not able to, you know, uh, route the traffic. Because it will take some time, and shortly you will see um, the traffic is going to be routed to that particular uh, application, right? And Let's wait for a while. And some of the rules I need to show you as this is the layer seven load balancer. And these are the, uh, I mean, uh, these are the host and path based routing rules we have added regarding our hosts. So this is our host and these are the hosts. If you have any specific path, definitely you can do that. And um, that's, I do have other videos regarding the, uh, ingress controller like nginx ingress controller traffic ingress controller if you want to see that i mean please navigate to my channel sub subscribe and like the channel and share with it so just be patient as we discuss you uh, usually um i mean um straight away it's it will take some time till then i'm going to pause the video and we will be back just want to double check that um this is the ip right at 3449 and 3449 right so and we have updated in our uh, record section and um, because uh, it is very important and uh, you know uh, update this so let's wait for a file and hopefully we'll be serving the HTTPS application on this side so you see now our application is uh, you see the secure um, and with TLS, and if I, if I do uh, make, I mean, refresh, it is going to load balance on our, you know, uh, instances of pods which we have. So it is actually load balancing to these. If you see the names, you see, uh, these are the names of the pods, 
and it is going to uh, actually load balancing to these pores. You see W5, C at the end, and you see it is load balancing. And if I roll uh, this, you see connection is screwed off. That is it. Uh, uh, that is it, guys. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Have a nice.